Hello and welcome to Alchemist Swim. I'm Alchemist Jen. Thanks for joining me on this fine day. I hope you're having a good one and happy day to you. And maybe if it's not yet, maybe it will be. It's worth a shot. Uh, so today's whim of the day is uh, just to knit and chat, I guess. I am tired. It is awesome. Just, just you know, it's all good. So I'm just going to ramble. <clears throat> and this is my hundredth video that I posted on YouTube. So yay! Triple digits, baby! Um, thanks for joining me on this ride. Even if you're just watching this one, I appreciate that. All the little things matter, right? So this is the thing that matters. So I'm just going to work on my silly scarflet. I'm just going to work on some knitting while we chat for this stretch of time in this period of existence. Um, so I also wanted to show you, before I finish this row, I'll show you a pair of pants that I dyed too. So um, they turned out pretty fantastically. Um, so I'm having fun with the dyeing of clothing and um, I'll keep showing you more and I'll keep doing more. So I was originally going to try to put a dye batch on tonight but I am plum tuckered, so I uh, worked a really long day at my other gig, and I'm just done, and I gotta go in kind of early tomorrow, so I figured it's best to have some dinner, make the, the filming happen, and then go to bed. So that's my grand goal for the day. I think that's good. Good, good, uh actions on my part for myself. I don't think I have much left in me anyway, so that's smart. Also glad that I didn't set up um, uh, dying ahead of time, so I felt like I was compelled to do it even if I ran out of uh, steam or time to do so. So yay for past me, for looking out, for present me. How about that? And then tomorrow I can work on setting up some dice. I don't work as late and I don't the days are different, so it's all good. It all works out on this journey. So I am still working on this knitting, which is fantastic. I'll get there eventually. This is a sample for a craft store that has a bunch of yarn, so I was thinking that I could get some more of the cotton yarn or just take some that I have um, left. Uh, along with these to go hang out together. So those are my thoughts. I mean, I love this yarn, so it's definitely one that I want to keep stocking. Um, it's really cool because it's cotton and wool, and it's been ice dyed. So um, my n other wool yarns aren't ice dyed, they're acid dyed. So that means that they are heated with citric acid to set the bond between the dye and the um, fibers versus, um, hi kitty. Um, uh, this other stuff, he's not going to let me knit. And he's going to sit on my clothing. I'm saying he's not going to let me knit because he's going to want to play with it. He wants to knit, but his form of knitting is not the same as mine. Here's a bud. Alright, I'm on his pillow. Right? That means I gotta hang out with him because this is our thing. Gotta hang out and <laughs> hang out on his pillow together. He's sleepy. He wants me to go to bed. I say the B word. He likes bed. We st we cuddle we cuddle all the time though, because he's my cuddle buddy. Hey, bub. No, oh, the lights are bright. Want to go down? You really are sleepy. He was just covered up in blankets in the dark. I have a bright light shining in his face. Right, let me show you the pants before he sits on them. So these are flax brands, so I think they're cotton or linen of some kind. Um, so these turned out fantastic. I love them. I had some nice, I rolled over 
Like I folded it in half and then rolled it over on itself. And then through that, it ended up with the um, striping, which is really cool. And then just kind of the repetition of the different tones. So I just think it's super fun. And then check out this beautiful speckle on the leg. Yeah, it's just fun. I love dyeing. So these would be just fun to wear as well, just because they're just delightful. They're happy pants. Happy pants. And this is a size large. So happy pants. There we go. And um, yeah, I'm definitely working on how I want to create um, a dress form or some some way to showcase the clothing as I'm photographing it. So I'm thinking some kind of creature or creatures involved with this. I just think it'd be super fun. So be a little ridiculous. Um, it's kind of my my style anyway too, right? Can even sit on the pants. Um, is to just kind of have some fun and keep it light. So I'm still contemplating on what what that looks like. Um, it'll give me a chance to do some 3D kind of sewing too, which is really cool. I'm excited to do that. Um, I just like challenges and coming up with things that are um, not something that I would normally go after. So I found it just to the idea just to kind of be intriguing. So I'm gonna see what I make. Could be anything. I have no idea. Um, so still working on that. Kitty's getting some chin scratches. In these old days she likes his chin scratched even more, I think. Uh, always has liked his chin scratched. Anyway, random random thoughts. Thanks for listening to me really ramble about random things. Um, I feel like if I make any movements or something I should explain what I'm doing, especially if it's off camera, so that's what I was doing. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. So, um, so over the next couple days, I'm definitely going to be doing some more dyeing. Um, <clears throat> I still need to order some yarn, so I'm working on that. Hopefully I can get some yarn ordered um, in the next couple days. I figure since I've got the weekend now, I've got a couple days to decide. Um, I could potentially order some tomorrow earlier and still get it on the way faster. Maybe I should try to do that. Let me think on that. Um, <clears throat> so yarn, yarn is good. I just need some more, just a little bit more for my events coming up. I have a good stash, but I just, I like to have a little bit more just because they're bigger ish events too. So, and I know that people are going to be looking for me now that they know I exist. <laughs> I exist. Um, other things that I'm going to be working on for my shows, um, are... Um, probably some more bandanas and cuffs. I'll be cutting up the fabric behind us and I also will be making some more background fabrics too so that's all set and ready to go. They're all folded and ready to dye so I'm excited about that. So that'll be happening probably tomorrow and then I'll do more clothing in the same big um, muck dyeing session just because I really like that process. Um, and I get cool results. So why not keep running with it and still kind of let it do its thing? Um, so, yep, so dyeing fabrics, get some more yarn to dye, um, and then keep sewing. I definitely need to, so I'll be working on bandanas for sewing, um, more um, wrist uh, and shawl cuffs. I'll do a different colorway with the, this color fabric compared to the other fabric that I had. Um, I'll also be doing some um, some small pieces, so I want to sew them. It will kind of look like they're, um, I mean, they're multi multi purpose in a sense. It could be used as a coaster. It could be used as a patch. It could be used as just art. Um, so that's what I'm kind of feeling. Um, I've got to make a big Mercow <laughs> um, uh, block. Uh, for some, for at least one t-shirt, but um, it'll definitely be fun to incorporate that in some other things too. So I've definitely got some larger rectangles I'm ready to roll with there, so I will work on that. Um, and yeah, it's good. It's good. 
so yeah so today I think that's all I really want to talk about I don't I think feel like I'm just gonna ramble and or just stop talking and stare off in the distance um, just where my brain is at this moment I need to rest so my body's saying stop my brain's saying you can talk but you know we're just gonna fall asleep so that is fun and also kind of weird so thanks again for listening to me uh, tired ramble at you so today's one of the day has been a little bit of knitting until we got distracted by kitty and then I showed you a pair of pants and then we talked about dying because we talked about dying a lot and if you hear that part of the clip I mean if I get quoted some random thing we talk about dying a lot I mean that's something you definitely need some context for if we talked about what type of dying that is I don't know just random thoughts as I'm talking and how to spell it if you've got subtitles then of course you can see one kind of dying but who knows maybe maybe I'm being interpreted a different way that'd be fascinating I'll have to look into it so we'll see where the whim takes us tomorrow we'll talk about dying because that's what I'm doing right now as a lot of dying and uh, yeah I hope you have a good one see ya